Hey everybody, so today I have installed the iOS 11.3 beta and we're going to be doing a hands-on look of it here on the iPhone 10. So I already made a video talking about iOS 11.3 earlier today. Apple did a preview of the iOS 11.3 beta and they talked about some of the new features that will be included in it. So you can find that video in the unlisted playlist on my channel. So now that we have the firmware, we're going to be taking a look at some of these features. Now first of all is some improvements to ARKit. So instead of just being able to recognize flat surfaces, it can now recognize walls and doors, as well as um, irregularly shaped surfaces such as circular tables, and it also now has 50% better resolution and support for autofocus. So some nice improvements there. Now, next is a feature for the iPhone X, and it is new and emojis. So, let me show you these. So, there's four new and emojis you can see at the bottom right here. So, let's see. Okay. Um, hope you can see that. So, first of all, we've got a lion. Um, we've got this dragon here, which is really cool. We've got the skull, the skeleton one and a grizzly bear, which looks pretty similar to the panda bear, except the colors. Actually, I think the panda bear is a little bit fatter. Um, so yeah, some cool new emojis for the iPhone X. Um, I kind of predicted that they would be adding new emojis in this release, um, and they did. So yeah, um, new ones, that's always nice, and hopefully they'll add even more in the future. Um, there's also been some other improvements to messages. So first of all, when you open up the messages app for the first time on 11.3, you'll get this new splash screen that says messages for iCloud. Now this is a feature that Apple actually announced in the WWDC 2017 keynote and it was supposed to be released in iOS 11.0 and it was available in early betas of iOS 11 but then it was removed and now it's finally been brought back which I'm really excited about as you can see I put finally because I'm really excited I've been waiting for this feature for a long time so you can see if we go to our iCloud settings you can see we now have this option for messages so that'll be super nice and we've also got business chat in messages, which is a new feature that allows you to communicate directly to businesses and you can ask them questions and even send money directly over Apple Pay. Um, at the time, this feature is only supported for Discover, Hilton, Lowe's, and Wells Fargo. Um, and it's super secure. It won't send any of your contact information to the businesses. So that is super nice. Now, next up is batteries and performance. So, if you remember back in December, Apple was having all this controversy and they got into this big lawsuit because they announced that they are intentionally slowing down the performance of older iPhones in order to preserve long-term battery life. Now, um, they first implemented this in iOS 10.2.1 for the iPhone 6 and 6S where they um, underclock the CPU a little bit, I think, and um, the performance will be a little bit slower, but you'll get better battery life overall and not have those unexpected shutdowns. And they did the same thing with the iPhone 7 in iOS 11.2, I think. So now, since people are getting really angry about it, um, they're trying to add some new features to hopefully overcome this. So first of all, there is going to be a new battery health meter in the battery settings as well as it will tell you if your battery needs to be replaced. Now these features are available for the iPhone 6 and later, so unfortunately not the iPhone 5S. And additionally, users can now see if the power management feature that dynamically manages maximum performance to pre prevent unexpected shutdowns, first introduced in iOS 10.2.1, is on and can choose to turn it off. So apparently there will be some sort of switch or something in here where you can basically turn off the, where it slows down the performance. Um, so that'll be super nice. So you'll basically be able to have either best performance or best battery life. Now that feature is available for the iPhone 6, 6S, SE, and 7, so not the 8 or 10, but those are pretty new phones anyways, so they shouldn't really be having those kinds of problems. 
Now, all these features um, will be coming in a later iOS 11.3 beta release, so I can't show you any of them now. Um, the only ones I would be able to show you is the battery health, and also they didn't really mention anything about if these features will be available on the iPad or the iPod Touch. Um, I wouldn't really think so, but um, I did update my iPod Touch 6th generation to iOS 11.3, which I'm recording on. Um, but yeah, those features won't be added, so I will keep you guys updated um, if these features ever come to my iPod Touch or the iPhone 10 in a later beta, but I kind of doubt it. Do they even like replace batteries for iPods or iPads? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, also they're not supporting it on the iPhone 5S, which is kind of weird since that's the oldest one and it's probably experiencing the worst battery life right now, but I don't know. So anyways, um batteries and performance and next of all is some new features for health so um, if you go to your health records right here you can see we've got this new splash screen and basically you can add online accounts or participating health networks and hospitals you can manage clinical health records from multiple sources right on your iPhone and new records are updated automatically so if we get started you can see got all of these hospitals. Um, it will also ask you if you want to use your location. So yeah, new health records, um, that's cool. And some additional little features are Apple Music will soon be the home for music videos. Users can now stream music, users can stream all the music videos they want without being interrupted by ads. They can also watch the hottest new videos, the classics, or the ones from their favorite artists back-to-back -back in new music video playlists. Um, Apple News now makes it easier to stay up to date on the most important videos of the day with a new video group in For You and improved top stories. HomeKit software authentication provides a great way for developers to add HomeKit support to existing accessories while protecting privacy and security and support for advanced mobile location, or AML, to automatically send a user's current location when making an emergency services call in countries where AML is supported. So, those are basically all the features of the iOS 11.3 beta. Um, also, some little things I noticed is when you open up the app switcher on the iPhone 10, it is a little bit faster to activate than before, which is nice, so you don't have to hold for quite as long. And there's also a new taptic feed feedback when you do open the app switcher, it's just a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I have in, um, noticed a couple little glitches with this, so sometimes the taptic feedback will not work when you're either um, opening the app switcher and there's nothing, or if there is something, sometimes the taptic feedback just won't work, so hopefully they'll fix that. And then some other little things, if we go to settings, you can see the privacy section is now has a blue icon instead of, um, I think it was gray before. And um, also, when you are setting up your iPhone for the first time, um, I just took a picture, um, it will um, have this new privacy screen in there. I don't know if you can see that in the setup process. So yeah, I guess just the new privacy features overall. And overall, the performance is a little bit better. I feel like activating the control center feels a little bit snappier than before. So yeah, always enjoy those performance and stability improvements because as we know, iOS 11 has been pretty janky so far. It has gotten better with iOS 11.1 and 11.2 and even better in iOS 11.3. And another little bug fix I noticed is in the App Store on my iPod Touch specifically. I've been having this problem ever since the beginning of iOS 11. So when you go to the Purchase section, um, and you can see All and Not on this iPod Touch, it used to say Not on this iPhone on my iPod Touch, which was really weird, but they have finally, finally fixed this in 11.3, so that is awesome. So those are um, pretty much all the new features actually in iOS 11.3 beta. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.